U.S. threatens Iran as it sanctions 50 U.S. citizens. Iran's weekend sanctions on some 50 Americans, including top officials, prompted a stern warning from the United States on Sunday, warning that Tehran would suffer serious repercussions if it harmed any American citizens. A statement from White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan declared, the United States of America will safeguard and defend its people. Iranian nationals, including the 52 persons listed in yesterday's list, would suffer serious repercussions if they are attacked by Iran. Soleimani's killing has prompted Iran to announce penalties on the United States, including those against the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mark Milley. On January 3, 2020, a U.S. drone attack in Baghdad killed Quds Force Chief Qasem Soleimani, which Iran described as a callous terrorist crime on Saturday. As Tehran observed the two-year anniversary of the death of the beloved general, President Ibrahim Raisi of Iran threatened vengeance against Trump until the former U.S. president is brought to justice for Soleimani's murder. Sanctioned Americans include former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Nikki Haley and Trump Administration National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien. There will be no peaceful vacation in Iran after all, Haley said on Twitter. You know you're doing something right when Iran, the world's largest state sponsor of terrorism, sanctions you. We are unified in our determination against threats and provocations, and, in the protection of our people, Sullivan said in his statement. To dissuade and react to any Iranian assault, the United States would collaborate with its partners, he said. There are presently closed-door discussions taking place in Vienna between the United States and other global powers and Iran in an attempt to revive the 2015 nuclear agreement, which was put on hold in 2018 when Trump withdrew the United States and placed harsh sanctions on the Iranian government.